Hello, I'm Richard Chambers. Welcome to A View from the Audit Trail, where I discuss issues and other topics relevant to internal audit professionals around the world. It can be an interesting debate among internal auditors when discussing how to frame commentary in audit reports. Some see the upside of identifying leading practices related to strong risk management and internal control. Others aren't so sure. They argue that we really aren't there to be the cheerleaders. There are valid points on both sides. Whether to acknowledge what went well has long been a point of contention within the profession. I pose this question to a behavioral psychologist who has worked with internal audit departments. He feels strongly that it's counterproductive to concentrate solely on what's going wrong. Positive reinforcement, he says, is crucial to affecting positive outcomes. This is especially important for a profession that has a reputation, deserved or not, for finding fault more often than offering praise. Ouch. I believe that internal auditors are much better at finding the positives than the psychologist thinks. But I must acknowledge that there's room for improvement. To be sure, to provide assurance on the effectiveness of controls, we cannot step away from presenting potentially negative findings. But taking time to accentuate the positive demonstrates a more balanced and objective approach. And as the psychologist suggests, it can serve as great motivator for internal audit clients. So what's the best approach to communicating leading practices in an organization? One way might be to issue periodic reports that summarize best practices observed by internal auditors. For example, if the internal audit includes a review of procurement practices by, say, retail outlets, a summary report that identifies leading practices will likely add value. This applies to the client being audited as well as those who might be struggling with similar challenges. Promoting the positive can also strengthen relationships. Too often we underestimate the power of an honest compliment, but a few words of encouragement can help turn a rocky client relationship into an effective partnership. Periodically reporting the most successful business practices can demonstrate to clients that we appreciate the importance of their actions and aren't merely focused on the negative. As the old communication axiom goes, tell them what you're gonna tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you've told them. The author of that statement might well have made a great internal auditor. Certainly, messages about risk management and internal controls bear repeating. But if the psychologists are right, messages about successful risk management and internal controls deserve particular attention. At times, we have to repeat the negative messages to ensure that management is effectively addressing problem areas. But if we really want to bring about improvements in our organizations, maybe it's time we start repeating some of the positive messages as well. Are you doing what you can to balance the negative with the positive? With a view from the audit trail, I'm Richard Chambers.